time since I've been there uh, making any any videos for anyone to see. I made loads last year. I uh, booked the studio for a couple of days. I went down there and filmed a load of stuff and I didn't like any of it. And uh, so I haven't put anything new for a long time. Um, I, just, I just thought I'd uh, address an issue which seems to be coming up a lot lately. And uh, last couple of days, uh, if you've seen NXT's channel, it's just unboxed his new Gibson Les Paul. And uh, the first thing he did was, was to take the nut off, put a new nut on, and just, just talking about doing some fret work. And he changed the tuners. I mean, that's just a personal choice, I would think. I mean, he's got confidence in himself to do that. The guitar under warranty, but probably not anymore because he's videoed himself uh, doing the work on the guitar. So that's probably nullified the warranty. So um, that's okay for someone like Eric. Uh, quite a few people um, asking me why I'm not using my Les Paul in gigs. Or, or what? Why I've why I've turned up for um, um, a performance with a different guitar than they would have expected, um, and this 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 is the 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 first guitar I always go to. It's a Washburn Idol Pro sixty six. Um, it's a not really, and I suppose you could call it a demo rather than a review because you, you can't buy these anymore. Um, so this is the only one I've got. It's got it's got one of those um, chunky roller bridges on. I took the washburn bridge off. It was, it was, it was a little bit thin. Um, I also changed the pickups on this. There used to be a Duncan, um, a Duncan Seymour Duncan Fifty Nine, and a custom custom this this ceramic model. But the way it's ended up. I've got the Seymour Duncan SH40 in Custom 5, which is probably the pickup that I like the most out of anything. And this, this is a Gelvin 84. Um, this has been in for about six months now. Uh, it's part of a pair, but that's another story. Um, so, I've got, rather than push-pull, I've got push-push. So I can split the... Uh, so when it's down, coil split. The, the, uh, the bridge pickup is humbug and the, and the, and the, the neck is, is split so you get this Usual gun for I, I, I think this is. I think this is an ebony fretboard. Um, 
mahogany back, uh, mahogany body, mahogany neck, I think, with a maple cap. It's got that, got that dent in there that uh, I filled in, but it left a bit of a mark. Uh, not really too worried about that. Um, I haven't replaced anything else. Uh, there's been a new fix three or four times. I uh, just probably gig with this more than anything. I have been Les Paul for 30 odd years, and I've used I've had this for like four years now, I think. <laughs> It's interesting to see, you know, someone spent two thousand dollars on a on a Gibson Les Paul, and immediately start finding issues. That's just ridiculous. That shouldn't be the case. And uh, one of my students was um, looking for a Gibson a couple of years ago. Uh, he went for one of those Gibson Les Paul traditionals, and um, it went back twice. Uh, the, the first time, um, the neck was out of shape, um, and I said it's just a case of putting the the, the key in, turning the nuts up so it to refine it. Um, the right setting you want for the, uh, but he he wasn't keen on doing that. He wanted to keep the warranty, so he took it back to the shop he bought it from, and they they had a look at it, and it came back with the action was so low. You couldn't actually play, it was just, just a buzz when you did this. So he took it to another, um, there's a place called KGB in um, in Birkenhead. It's, a, it's an actual luthier, as well as repairs, they, they, are, they are an actual luthiers. Uh, and they did a fantastic job on it, it's in pretty good nick, that guitar. Wait for time. <laughs> I think that's one of the things that why one of the reasons I like this is uh, it's just so light. It just really you don't notice it when it when it's when you when it's there. I mean, sometimes we're playing for three hours, and you, you, you just, rather than swapping guitars and whatever, I'd rather just play one. That's why I have this going on, um, so I can split the chords. Got plenty of options, um, but I can stand there quite comfortably with this. Oh, one other thing I could mention is. Uh, See the strap button? It's got that. Um, what shape was that? Um, it's got that oval. I don't know, oval shape. So I, I've had the strap locks, various types of strap locks. Eventually, the the guitar falls off at some point. So I'm trying these out now. They're, they're much bigger than the usual strap button. So because uh, you've got that sharp edge. Keeps the, it keeps the strap in place. And touch wood, touch wood. I, I, haven't, I haven't dropped the guitar for a while. It doesn't happen very often, but you just don't want it to be happening at all, do you? Um, I've got that. See that chip in the air? Yeah. That's what, because I dropped it in a gig once. Okay. See what it sounds like. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's why I like this um, Custom 5 SH14 because it's such a beefy sound. <laughs> sound of pickup not as bright as the um as the dump but it really sings <laughs> each other so you get a nice thick sound in the uh, in the middle position on humbucking and I can use it uh, so it's just it's just nice and uh, there's no harshness going on um, I'll just turn it off. out there is watching this <laughs> um, can anyone tell me what the actual um, frets are made of on, the, on, the, on these guitars because I've been this guitar has been battered and uh, there's, no, there's no wear on those frets at all so I'm assuming there's something like stainless steel they should really show some signs of wear now So I'm not having a, um, a 
It's not a it's not a Bass Gibson day by any, by any means. I'm just highlighting the uh, the issue. I've got a Les Paul just custom um, a black one. That's that's. It's a really good guitar, it's really heavy though. And, uh, it may be, may be the case that I'm just bored with it. I've had it, I've had it for so long, I've had it since I was a kid. Uh, it's gonna cost me a lot more than this did in 1984. Uh, I bought this four years ago, so um, I mean, obviously. The Les Paul is iconic. I just think of uh, the likes of Jimmy Page and Slash, and then others like Gary Moore, Peter Green. I just think it's nicer to say, well, um, yeah, I love all that, but I'm not going to look like that because I want to look like me. No one else wants to look like me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put out another video soon with um, just some acoustic playing. Uh, and then I think I might put another video out uh, breaking down what I've played in the uh, in that in that video and uh, you know make it a tutorial video and see how that goes. Um, that was my plan over a year ago, but other things come to light, so there you go. Anyway, I'll see you soon.